Welcome back to Movie Rewind. Today I will tell you about an action, comedy, horror movie from 2019 titled Ready or Not. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. 30 years ago, siblings Daniel and Alex are being pursued through the Ladomas family mansion. Daniel hides his brother in a closet and tells him to stay there. His Aunt Helene's new husband, Charles, approaches Daniel and begs for his help. Daniel instead calls out to his family, who arrive shortly after and shoot Charles with a crossbow. Helene is restrained as she desperately tries to intervene. Back to present day, it is the morning of Alex's wedding day, as he prepares to wed his beloved fiance, Grace. Grace is nervous, but also excited to become part of the Ladomas legacy. The family's self-proclaimed gaming dominion has made them one of the wealthiest families in North America. They finish getting ready and join Alex's family for a photo shoot. Daniel is accompanied by his wife, Charity, who is open about marrying into the family for their money. Their father, Tony, isn't fond of Grace, but hides it better than Helene, who looks right through her. Grace's soon-to-be mother-in-law, Becky, eases the tension by noting that it's only Alex's opinion that matters. The ceremony commences, and Alex and Grace are officially newlyweds. Late that evening, they begin getting intimate when Helene startles them and tells Alex that he's needed downstairs. Alex then explains that at midnight, Grace is obligated to join the family for a game. She asks for more details, but he remains vague about the situation, only saying that it is a long-standing Ladomas tradition that every new member of the family participates in. Grace says that she's excellent at checkers, and they join the rest of the family downstairs. They are accompanied by Alex's coke head sister, Emily, and her husband, Fitch. Everyone gathers around the table and Tony explains the tradition to Grace. Many years ago, his great-grandfather, Victor, made an agreement with a mysterious man named Mr. LaBelle. Mr. LaBelle offered significant financial backing and is said to be the reason for the family's rise to prosperity. Grace is passed an ornate box, which was a gift from Mr. LaBelle, which will determine what game they play. Charity says that her card was chess, and Finch says he drew old maid. Grace draws a card and gets hide and seek, which causes the room to fall silent. As the guest of honor, Grace gets to hide first. She's told that the only way to win is to remain hidden until dawn, which doesn't sound appealing. The surveillance system is turned off and Grace goes to hide, as the family distributes a collection of antique weapons. Alex abstains as the other family members receive guns, except for Helene's long-handled axe, and Fitch's crossbow. Unaware of what's happening, Grace hides inside a dumb waiter and the family sets off to search for her. She quickly grows bored and exits the dumb waiter to look for a different hiding spot. Alex finds her wandering the halls and covers her mouth before pulling her into a nearby room. He begins to warn her, but they are overheard by one of the maids, Clara. As Clara looks around the room, she is shot in the face by Emily, who mistook her for Grace. Hearing the gunshot, the rest of the family shows up and finds Clara dead. Alex pulls Grace into a nearby room, where he explains the truth about the game. Their version of hide and seek means they have to hunt Grace, then kill her in a ritualistic sacrifice. They believe that failure to do so before sunrise will result in the entire family's death. Grace is horrified, but Alex promises to get her out safely. Now understanding the gravity of the situation, Grace swaps her heels for a pair of sneakers and tears off the dragging fabric from her dress. She walks cautiously into another hallway but runs into Tony and Helene who are disposing of Clara's dead body. Emily, fresh off another line, shows up and recklessly shoots at Grace, missing badly and nearly shooting her own father in the process. Grace hides in the billiards room where Daniel walks in and finds her. He could care less about the game, however, so he pours himself a drink and gives Grace a head start before alerting the others. Now that Grace is aware that she's being hunted, the family reconvenes to discuss a plan. Emily swaps weapons for her husband's crossbow, but accidentally shoots another maid with an arrow to the head. Helene is offering her ideas when she gets distracted by the maid, who is on the floor but still alive, so she decapitates her with the axe. Meanwhile, Grace finds a rifle and ammo belt, and takes it with her to the kitchen. Alex goes to the control room where he turns the cameras back on and tries to unlock the doors and windows. The butler, Stevens, begins making tea while Grace hides nearby. She loads the rifle and goes to shoot him when he blocks the door, but he tells her the ammo is only for decoration. Grace smashes the teapot over his head and runs out of the kitchen. Alex sees the altercation via the surveillance system and manages to unlock the doors and windows. He destroys the panel so they can't be relocked, just as Tony walks in and finds him. He immediately confronts his son, 
but Alex pushes Tony down and begins choking him. Daniel is forced to intervene, and Tony uses the opportunity to knock Alex unconscious and handcuff him in his bedroom. Grace, who is hiding on the roof, then overhears a conversation between Tony and Helene. Helene says that Alex has always rejected their tradition, but believes he will come to accept it, as she did when her husband was killed. Although she resisted at first, she eventually came to the realization that she should have killed him herself. With the door locks now disabled, Grace re-enters the house to try and escape. She almost makes it but gets seen by the final maid, Dora, who is inside the dumbwaiter. Dora tries to alert the family but accidentally closes the dumbwaiter and gets crushed. Grace uses the distraction to finally get outside. She makes her way to the stable where she runs into one of Emily's children. Thinking he will help, Grace approaches, but he pulls a gun on her and shoots a hole through her hand. Before he can fire again, Grace uses her other hand to knock him unconscious. As she bends to pick up her flashlight, she is startled by a goat and stumbles backwards into the goat pit, where both dead animals and humans are disposed of. She uses the rotting ladder to pull herself up, where her injured hand lands on a protruding nail. Grace manages to escape the pit and she uses part of her dress to bandage her hand. Stevens is sent out to search for Grace while Daniel and Emily cart the dead maids out to the goat pit. Daniel no longer wants to participate in the tradition, but Emily wants to continue as she worries for her boys. Stevens locates Grace hiding among the nearby trees and stops to capture her. She uses his existing wound to subdue him, before choking him with her dress and stealing the car. Grace drives away and uses the in-vehicle safety system to call for help, but the car was reported stolen forcing the agent to disable it. Stevens recovers and finds Grace, before sedating her with a tranquilizer and heading back to the house. She wakes up and kicks him in the head, causing the vehicle to roll over and killing Stevens in the process. Grace survives the crash, but she is found soon after by Daniel. Still thinking about his sister's words, he knocks Grace out and returns her to the family. Back at the house, Becky goes to see Alex in his room. She empathizes with his feelings for Grace but encourages him to put his family first. Alex, however, asserts that the entire tradition is psychotic. He says that nothing will happen if they refuse to play some archaic game, then threatens to kill his mother if anything happens to Grace. Grace is tied to a table as the family prepares to sacrifice her to Mr. LaBelle. They pass around a chalice and recite an incantation, as Alex continues to try and free himself. Just as Tony is about to kill her, the entire family begins vomiting profusely. Daniel, who had contaminated the chalice, frees Grace and leads her out of the room. Charity intercepts them in the hallway, refusing to let anyone jeopardize her future in the Ladomas family. Daniel refuses to step aside so she shoots him in the neck. Grace is able to pry the gun away but it's out of bullets, so she knocks Charity unconscious and flees the area. Becky finds Grace nearby, and begins choking her after missing with an arrow. Becky then gets on top of her, however, Grace extends her arm and grabs Mr. LaBelle's box. She bludgeons Becky to death just as Alex arrives. Realizing that their relationship is certainly over, Alex turns on Grace and gives her up to his family. With dawn rapidly approaching, the family rushes to complete the ritual. They join in holding Grace down, and Alex raises the dagger to kill his wife. Grace breaks Helene's grip at the last possible moment, turning to take the dagger on the shoulder. She jumps up and points the weapon towards the family, as the sun begins peeking through the curtain. Helene rips the curtain open as everyone prepares for their impending doom. Alex gasps at the sunlit window, but nothing happens. The family looks around the room, relieved that everyone is fine, but Helene decides to kill Grace anyway. Just as she picks up the axe and charges towards, Helene combusts in a bloody mess. As Grace bursts into laughter, the rest of the family slowly follows suit, leaving only Alex to remain. Grace removes her ring and says she wants a divorce, and Alex explodes right in front of her. As a fire from earlier spreads throughout the house, Mr. LaBelle's spirit briefly appears in his chair and nods to Grace. Emergency vehicles begin arriving and a police officer asks Grace what happened, to which she replies, in-laws. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like on the video, and subscribe to see more.